Hey guys, it's Craig Valenci with SpiderFit Kids and SpiderFitKids.com. And do you ever wonder if you're right-eared or left-eared? Probably not, because you never heard of it. We know for right-handed or left-handed, but right ear dominance is extremely important. In fact, most of us need and want to be right ear dominant. And the reason for that is our language centers are on the opposite side of our brain. So when we hear things through our right ear, it goes directly to the other hemisphere, to that left hemisphere, and that's where your language center is. You hear it right away and you understand what to do. When we're talking about auditory awareness, we want kids to be able to really listen to directions, to understand, to hear things, and know how to respond quickly. But if you hear and you're dominant with your left ear, it has to go over to the right side and bounce back to the left side. You have a delay. And also the right side picks up higher pitch frequencies, which means if there's a noisy room and there's a song going on and lots of noise, how do you hear instructions or what people are saying? Well, the way that happens is through the right ear, you have a higher pitch frequency and you get that sound and you can interpret and kind of black out some of that background noise. So a great way to, in, in fact, if you want to change someone to be right or dominant, it's not that hard. You just do a few drills and you really work on that and you can do it. Changing someone from right-handed to left-handed is much harder. So that's the good news. And what we can do in a setting where we've got the kids and we want to create that right ear dominance is to speak into that right ear while they have some distraction going on to even make it harder, have some distraction going on on the left side and see if they can pick up and hone in on what we're saying and, dis and, and try to avoid hearing what that distraction is. So what I've set up is this cool little thing here where we've got these guys on the end here who are gonna sing, clap, and stomp and make some noise, right? I know they practice, row, row, row your boat. And then over here, we're gonna have some basic commands. I'm going to run in place forward and backward, forward and backward on my command. Whenever I say forward, he's going to go forward. I say backward, he's going to go backward and try to listen to me through his right ear and block out all that extra noise coming from the left. So here we go. We're going to start with you guys doing row, row, row your boat, and you're going to jog in place, okay? So row, row, row your boat with arms, hands clapping, foot stomping. Let's do it. Let's see how loud you can go. Go. Oh, man. And jog in place. Forward. Back. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. All right, good job. So we did some good right ear training and that's working on auditory awareness. Remember, the right ear is the right ear. So let's train it. You can do that with almost any drill that we have in our auditory awareness. So I love to have you guys try this, practice it, and get everyone right ear dominant. Remember, sensory awareness training is the foundation to youth fitness and physical literacy. Thanks so much and look forward to seeing you again.